we're going to start this off with um, trailer reviews. And like I said, the new Shazam trailer had dropped. Now, um, just going into this trailer, it does give a whole lot of new scenes. It shows some of the old scenes that we've already seen in previous trailers. And we see a decent amount of it. I don't, like At first, I wasn't even going to cover it. I wasn't even going to like do it. But then re-watching it again, I'm like, okay, there's enough new material in this new trailer to you know warrant being on the podcast or me even just talking about it. And just looking over it again, I like the new trailer. I really do. I'm getting tired of seeing the old scene, like some of the older scenes or whatever. Once they start to get repetitive of showing some of the scenes that we've seen before, then I start to lose interest. But um, some of the new scenes that it do show is that it has more of the scene where they're in the mall. We're well, not in the mall, but up in the store trying to buy liquor and everything else. And one thing I've noticed about this trailer as well as other trailers is that it doesn't have a main focus on, like, the villain. And you know how some trailers might have it to where, like, the first, you know, trailer, you have it focused on the hero. You might see glimpses of the villain or you might not have the villain in there at all. And then, you know, it just focuses on showing you, like, what this movie has to offer somewhat of the tone and then the second trailer a focus more on the enemy like you might have a little bit of like hardness from like the first what the first trailer gave us and then all of a sudden boom, 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 boom. and then it shows like the <laughs> the villain and stuff and then you see more of like what the villain has to offer do we we don't well, know. we do get to see uh what the villain has to offer some of his powers he's like as strong as shazam uh, as you can see up in the trailer, he like basically punches the crap out of him and just like hits him up, uh, does an uppercut to him and whatnot and knocks Shazam into a police car. And then he has electricity type power. So he has, from what we can see, he has a lot of the similar powers that Shazam has or the same powers that Shazam has, but it doesn't focus on it like that. It's like, it's more of a focus on Shazam. He is like a point nine percent focus of the trailer so that just lets me know that they're not really going to he probably not going to have a major big role when it comes to the actual film and everything that's involving it so he's probably going to be one of those throwaway villains well he probably might not but if he's not then the trailers have not done a good job in advertising that and showing what type of villain he is but just by the look of it he's probably not going to be a big focus or he's probably not going to have any type of like personality to where they can focus on and actually make him a really good character like a low key or something like that where he could be a fan favorite. Also, this movie, this movie, this trailer focuses on the lightheartedness of the uh, whole film. Like just with the first trailer, it shows basically him trying to be Shazam and it I, I like that. I like how it doesn't go into he gets these powers and he automatically knows how to use it. It's, he gets these powers. He doesn't know how to use them. So he's training with his friend or his like uh, brother and trying to figure out how to use these powers because it was like he was basically given this without an instructions manual. You don't really see him going back to the wizard that gave him the power. So I don't think he really goes back to him as like a consultant or somebody to, you know, like, how do you do this and this and that? Since he's training with his brother, it shows that he doesn't know how to use it and he's trying to figure out how to use it. And you, sh and you see the mistakes that he's making in the trailer that... He doesn't know how to use this. You know, he's still learning it. And that's the argument I go with, man. Still, but that's a whole nother discussion. But he's still learning how to handle the power. And he's going against someone, just like in Man of Steel, who has the same, like, strength as him. Same powers and all that stuff, I'm guessing. Because, I mean, it, it, he shows it. He can fly. He has superhuman strength because he goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with Shazam. And then Shazam uses electric power, you know, electricity or whatever as a power. So is the villain. So I can only guess that he has the same powers as Shazam. So, yeah, um, and he's going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a guy who has the same powers and he's still learning how to use his powers, which is the same in Man of Steel. But like I said, it's another discussion. But I, I like that whole aspect of it. And it looks like the moments where they're doing training and trying to figure out how to use the powers is like just, it, it looks really like it's funny. It looks like it has a lot of humor. And I hope I come out of this movie, even if I don't 
like it as much as like Wonder Woman or Man of Steel or Aquaman. I hope it's within that discussion to where it's like, damn, this is a pretty good movie. And I came out of here laughing and enjoying myself with the action and everything else. The acting, all that. Um, also, it has a little scene where <laughs> he picks up a Batman doll and tries to throw it at like the villain scene. Like, in the, when he pick him up, he's like, I am Batman, the doll. And then he's like, all right, go get him, Batman. He throws the doll at him. Like, that just shows Zachary Levi is doing a great job with this character and that's what i like about this character so far even just from seeing it on the trailers or whatever is he is a 15 year old kid he just looks grown so he's going to act like a 15 year old kid and he's selling it and that's something that a little kid would have done like what type of grown man unless you know in an adam sandler movie or a seth rogan movie or something like that but what type of grown ass man would take a doll and throw it at somebody but like go get him batman you know it just it's that's that's the type of silly humor that really intrigues me and gets me interested in seeing this movie and just expecting to laugh i ain't gonna say gut busting but just laugh because it looks like it's funny and just stupid humor <laughs> you know just just it's, it's so funny that it's just it's so stupid that it's just funny and also um him saving the bus that he caused the accident. Like he uses his electricity power. I'm getting I'm getting the sense that he basically found out how to use it. And so he's kind of like like you know playing around with it. Like, okay, yeah, I got this. And then bam, he busts the tire of the bus. It goes and about to fall off the um the side of the road. And he go, runs down there real quick and catches it and puts it down. And he was like, Did you see that? And his brother's like, Yeah, you got you just electrocuted a bus and then made it fall off a thing. And he's like, and I caught it. <laughs> it's like, it, it, you know, it, it just has a lot of stupid humor. You could tell from the trailer, especially at the end when they're doing the leap, the building in a single bound. And you could tell that this, tr this movie is like heavily connected to the BVS universe. Superman and Batman, all of them exist because there are references from what you see. And then what you hear visually in the trailer, they, they do have, you know some references to the other heroes that they do exist in this universe and one of the things is like him leaping a building in a single bound being that what superman does and what superman is known to do for so many years in real life through comic books and he tries to do it and instead of hopping over a building in a single bound he actually goes almost to the top of the building but crashes into somebody's apartment or office building or whatever and it's just that goes on with the humor so hopefully i come out of this this movie like yo this was a funny ass movie also a good nah, not about to say great but a good ass movie if i come out here and say it's a great movie then yeah i'm i'll be satisfied i will be satisfied but other than that yeah the trailer was dope i really did like it and i definitely cannot wait to see shazam i definitely cannot wait so moving on